Hello everyone, welcome again to another test large tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the requirement section a bit more and then I'll also enter or uh, document the requirement sample requirements that I have created. So here what I'm taking as an example is say for example, I am trying to develop an e-commerce app where there will be a functionality to sign up, to log in, uh, to prevent the unauthorized access. Uh, and then also to basically, you know, once a, a person signs up, he should be able to buy products from that particular portal. So I have created dummy for requirements. First one is about the signing up on with the social media or email accounts. Then uh, the second one is around, you know, logging in with social media and email account, then preventing the user from uh, logging in if he provides the wrong username or, or wrong credentials and then locking the account after four consecutive failed login attempts. So these are the user stories. So user stories, if you want to get more details, you can browse through or Google um, that how the user stories are written, but in agile uh, development approaches like Scrum, you will have your requirements in the form of user stories. Now, these user stories are a sort of the requirement that needs to be built uh, when the product development starts. So let us first go ahead and add these user stories as requirement. Okay, so if I go to the test lodge tool here, I have already created a project. If I open the project and within this project, uh, say for example, I want to go to the requirement section, right? So um, here you can see the current selection of the project is uh, the RCV Academy demo project, right? If you want to view all project, you can simply click on view all project and it will open uh, the projects that are available there. So I've selected that particular project and within this project, this is the project overview and activity, right? Now you are in this particular project. So if I go to the requirements section, you will see that this is the requirement section of this particular project, right? And in this particular requirements, section you will see i have already created a requirement document let me you know let me delete this first so that i can create a requirement document from scratch so now say for example you have an application which has multiple modules right so there will be a registration module there will be you know login uh, module to handle all the login functionalities handle the uh, other security features of the login functionality. So you can have one requirement document for whole of your application, all of your application that you want to develop, or you can have the requirement document based on the features. Say for example, registration feature can be a one requirement document and all the registration stories. Say for example, here I have this registration story that will go into the registration document all the login related or logout related or basically you know, like um, security related stories can go into the login functionality all right or you can have just one requirement document for the whole project and store all the requirements within that particular document that is not advisable because it will be very tedious to manage the requirements in the project because there might be hundreds of requirement in the same document so it will become a bit you know tedious to manage those so what i'll do is i'll create separate requirement document to manage the functionality okay as per the functionality so i'll say registration uh, functionality all right or you can say registration module so based on module i'll create different requirement document so i have i'll add a requirement document right let me add another module which is login module okay so this module will have all i'll create the new and create the login module now if i go to the requirement section i'll see the two requirements document there login module and registration module okay so let me open registration module and within the registration module you can have the number of requirement so now in the scrum you'll have the user stories so registration user story, I'll simply copy it and paste it into the new requirement. So simply click on new requirement and paste the user story there. And I'll name this title as 
user registration okay and click on add a requirement once you click on add requirement if you want to add more simply check this box and click on add requirement right once you will add then the box or this window will still be open so that you can quickly add multiple requirements if you want to attach files you can choose the file and simply attach the file to add another file you simply click on add another file and new choose file option will open let me cancel this so under user registration there is one requirement let me go back to the requirement section again and go to the login module now in the login module i will add another requirement right so i can simply click on new requirement and copy the login requirements so let me quickly add these successful login all right so here you can see i have added three requirements in the requirement document login module first one is successful login second was incorrect credentials and third one is lock user in case the user enters four consecutive failed login attempts right so this is how we'll basically categorize or structure our requirements so we'll have the requirement uh, document based on different modules and then within those modules we'll create our requirement okay so here we have created different requirements and these requirements are in the form of user stories so as you can see i have the user stories and if i want to edit this user stories for example user stories will have your acceptance criteria as well right so in scrum you have the user stories um, then you have the acceptance criteria as well so i can have acceptance criteria one and then uh, there can be acceptance criteria written for that similarly multiple acceptance criteria can be added within this particular story so that when user picks up this particular story he knows what exactly he is trying to test right so the basic user story then the acceptance criteria and then there can be details around the scenarios as well so all the details that go into any user story in other tools say for example jira is very uh, widely used tool for agile uh, you know delivery or you know uh, agile uh, software development so same format of the details can be added in the user story in the requirement section of test lodge as well now once you have these user stories ready then if you go to the testing life cycle you do the requirements in a test lodge you analyze those requirements then you come to the test plan phase all right so now we have added these requirements in the next tutorial i'll come back to the test plans and then start designing our test plan and understand how you can work with test plan in test lodge so that's all for this tutorial hope you like it please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching